delays, refusals and confusion. Shooters and hunters in the UK say firearms licensing is a postcode lottery. Nottinghamshire Police is the latest force to stop processing applications. Livens Gunsmiths is a family business which started in 1850 in Burton upon Trent. It has customers from all over the Midlands. They say where people live makes a huge difference to their licensing experience. Because we're sort of slap bang in the middle of the country, we have people coming from sort of all over. Um, we find that some people tell us that they've been waiting 12 months for a license, whereas some others might be a couple of weeks. So it's, it's pretty much like a bit of a postcode lottery as far as getting a, an FAC or a shotgun license or a variation or renewal. Um, so yeah, it's a bit, it's quite random. Well, for farmers and, and those sort of shooters, for example, that are doing it for a living, uh, it can be pretty frustrating because obviously they can't go without buying ammunition, for example. So that's pretty frustrating for those, those sorts of uh, shooters. Bask advises people to apply for renewals at least four months in advance. Even then, there's no guarantee how long it will take. I think the way that uh, chief constables have resourced firearms licensing departments is definitely different. Uh, and you can see that. I mean, some forces are very well resourced, other forces really struggling. Um, so I think that has an impact. But you do have that, that perfect storm of um, post-COVID, the introduction of statutory guidance, the uh, COVID booster programme, all of those combining together, and they, they have had a real impact. But the fact remains, certain forces, as I say, Lincolnshire, Essex, uh, Cheshire, do seem to have managed to uh, continue to provide a, a reasonable service. Nick Basson is a bird shooter and deer stalker. When he moved home in London last year, he submitted his licence for a change of address. He waited more than four months for police firearms licensing to return it. Socially, it's been frustrating. Um, you know, you, you miss out on, you know, there's so much anticipation uh, throughout the year you, uh, you, you, put in the, you put in the practice. Um, you want to try out a new recipe <laughs> and, and, uh, and the, the opportunity is, is, is missed. Um, and it, and if, you, if you think about it logically, it, in my particular case, I think it, it could have been avoided. Nigel Appleton is a deer stalker and rabbit shooter in Cornwall. He fears the police in the southwest are overreacting to a shooting in Plymouth in August 2021. Becoming increasingly disturbed at the way they're acting at the moment with taking people's guns off them. Um, they appear to be confusing complaint with evidence. Um, when they do turn up, they're giving no excuse, no reasons. They're not producing any sort of um, documentation and said, this is why we're doing this. Um, and it's quite apparent to me that they're confident that the average Joe can't afford to take them to court so they can just get away with doing what they want. The blame for the current firearms licensing mess lands at the door of individual police forces and they pass the blame on to the Home Office. The Home Secretary issued the guidance in November that some police forces claim means they can't administer shotgun and firearm certificates, though other forces blame a combination of Covid and high demand. The Home Office is now launching both a review of firearms licensing fees and a tender for a central register of guns. Basque says it welcomes a system to replace England and Wales firearms licensing database, the 15-year-old National Firearms Licence Management System. On fees, it's not so happy. Basque, the Countryside Alliance and other organisations are part of a working group meeting Home Office officials. Shooters say the current crisis in firearms licensing must be resolved before the government increases fees. For more on the licensing challenges that shooters face, see the links in the description below.